tasers on full charge. Velociraptor? No, not Velociraptor. Maybe one of the other dig sites has turned up something. Who do you think you are? Ah! <laughs> John Hammond. I own an island. Kind of biological preserve. Really spectacular. Spared no expense. Our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. If I could just persuade you to sign off on the park, I could get back on schedule. What kind of park is this? It's right up your alley. So you two, um, dig up, dig up dinosaurs? Well, try it so. <laughs> You'll have to get used to Dr. Malcolm. He suffers from a deplorable excess of personality, especially for a mathematician. Chaotician, chaotician, actually. straight, John. Your investors, whom I represent, are deeply concerned. 48 hours from now, if they aren't convinced, I'm not convinced. I'll shut you down, John. <laughs> Foreman's been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is an hunt. This thing. Two miles an hour. T-Rex? Mm-hmm. You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again. You have a T-Rex. <laughs> Dr. Clark, my idea is up to that. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Amusement park in the entire world. <laughs> Why don't you all sit down? Just one drop of blood contains billions of strands of DNA. The building blocks of life. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call amber. Using sophisticated techniques, Jurassic Park scientists extract the preserved blood from the mosquito. And now we can make a baby dinosaur. Can they hear me? Oh, good day, sir. Perfect timing. Hey, bring on the 
first creature they come in contact with. That's it. <laughs> So I'm kind of trying to attempt it. It's, uh, it's not possible. This is one thing the history of evolution has taught us. It's that life uh, finds a way. What species is this? Uh, it's a velociraptor. <laughs> They're lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move, 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. They remember. Bon appetit! How are they doing? Feeding them. The essence uh, of chaos. <laughs> These will be your transports for the afternoon. A driver. Oh, no, 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 no driver. They're electric. They run on this uh, track in the middle of the roadway here. Spared no expense. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Still not clear on chaos. The shorthand is the oh. butterfly effect. The butterfly can flap its wings in Peking and in Central Park, you get rain and stay Look at this. See? See? I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, suddenly jump out of a moving vehicle. Alan? <sighs> Don't be scared. Come on. It's okay. She's sick. I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's all right, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. I tell you, how many times we needed locking mechanisms on the vehicle Stop doors? Item 151 on today's glitch list. We have all the problems of a major theme park and a major zoo when the computers aren't even on their feet yet. Dennis. <laughs> Our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? Go ahead. All of you. I'm approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Five million if you get all 15 species off the island. Seven o'clock, the East Dock. Oh, uh, I uh, finished debugging the phones, uh, but the uh, system's gonna be uh, compiling for uh, 18 to 20 minutes, so some of the minor systems, they might go on and off for a while. Anybody want a soda or something? Fences are failing all over the park. Security systems are shutting down. Bones are out too. Access main program grid. Uh uh uh. You didn't say the magic word. Please. I wonder if perhaps you were good enough to be like my magic. Uh, uh, uh. Sure. I'm going with him. Uh, uh. Hey, what did I touch? Uh, you didn't touch anything. We stopped. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. You feel that? What is that?
go. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Climbing us. He never, never looked down. Okay. Oh, no. Go. System. The only way to wipe out everything that he did. Uh, 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 you please shut down the system. It's okay. Look, see that? It's on. It worked. The shutdown tripped the circuit breakers. Three minutes, I can have the power back on in the entire park. Just to be safe, I want everybody in the emergency bunker until Mr. Arnold returns and the whole system's up and running again. Having Ned to do was a mistake. Should have been there by now. Oh, 
nice boy. What do you want? What do you want? You want food? Visitors said it's just about a mile over that rise there. Just keep. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are, are those uh, meat eating? Uh, meat sources? It's a wheeling uniform. Direction changes just like a flock of birds evading a predator. They're, uh, they're flocking this way. Something went wrong. I'm gonna go get the power back on. You can't just stroll down the road. I think I can follow this and then talk you through it. Come on, let's go. Mr. Arnold? Mr. Arnold? Okay, Charles. Mr. Hammond, I think we're back in business. <laughs> We can make it if we run. No. Run. We got her.
gotta reboot the system first. Turn off the door locks! Decided not to endorse your park. So have I. To Malcolm, here to share a few campfire stories with my uncle. I was there, I know what happened, and so do you. In Jen is my responsibility now, Doctor, and I will jealously defend its interests. Oh. You were right, and I was wrong there. Did you ever expect to hear me say such a thing? Isla Nubla was just a showroom, something for the tourists. Site B was the factory floor. That was on Ina Sauna. A few weeks ago, a British family on a yacht cruise stumbled across the island. The boarders used the incident to take control of Injun from me. Okay, so there's another island with dinosaurs, no fences this time, and you want to send people in? I need a complete photo record of those animals. You didn't contact Sarah. She'll be fine. And believe me, the research team was not a research expedition anymore. It's a rescue operation, and it's leaving right now. You can't shave three days off your deadline. Expect everything to be ready. I'm not fully supplied. I'm not testing any of this stuff. All right, people, we're going nowhere until we get these vehicles fixed up. Hey, hey, please purr like a kitten. A really, really loud kitten. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh. Oh, what crazy driving? Thanks for the two minute warning, Eddie. Nick Van Owen, this is Ian Malcolm. Nick's our field photographer. He is. Oh, <laughs> 
Kelly, my honey. You found it. What took you so long? I couldn't get a cab. That's okay. Uh, now, listen. I gotta tell you, uh, something I gotta talk to you. Where are you going, anyway? It's only for a few days, but I wouldn't be going if it wasn't, a lo if it wasn't uh, really Dr. important. Dr. Malcolm. <laughs> I built the location sensor into Dr. Harding's satellite phone, so we should be getting a reading. Yikes. Wow. This is... This is magnificent. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ah, that's how it always starts. Then later there's running and then screaming. are incredible, legendary. Hey, Nick! Uh. Uh. And I never thought in a million years I'm gonna get you to fuck you. Hey, Eddie! Hi, Sarah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Those animals are just walked by. Did you see them? It's a family group. If I can just get a shot of the nest. I'll be right back. Sarah, no, no! Stay there. Sarah. Sarah. She's much too close. I just wanted to make dinner. Wanted ready when you guys got back. Kelly, Kelly, you have no what idea. You lock her up with curiosity? You really came all that way? Uh -huh. really? oh. I don't get it. It says engine on the, on the side of that chopper. I don't get that. Why, why wouldn't Hammond send two teams? <laughs> This is as good a place as any for base camp. This is a game trail, Mr. Ludlow. If you want me to run your little camping trip, I'm in charge. Okay. Okay! Peter, get into the outrigger. You're closing in on her. The one with the big red hole and the pompadour. Put in, Jen is seeking limited partners to defray some of our expansion costs. You don't bring people halfway around the world to visit a zoo. You bring the zoo to them. Mr. Hammond knew this before he ever dreamt of an island. He began construction on an amphitheater. San Diego is the perfect site. It could be completed and ready to receive visitors in less than a month. Uh, I think I should tell you guys. Hammond told me these people might show up. He did send a backup plan. What backup plan? Me.
one might say, it'd be up and running. Ah. He's got a broken leg. Let's get in the car before they hear us. Out of your mind? Do you have any idea what that is? You're nuts. should make an interesting chapter in your book. Communication equipment's been destroyed. Oh, We're stuck here, ladies and gentlemen, and stuck together thanks to you people. At least we came prepared. There's a communication center here, in the old operations building. If we can get here, we can send a radio call for the airlift. The operations building is right down in there. About a mile and a half, the base of these cliffs. We'll let them sleep one more hour. Sajay's back. You! You have come along out of the phone for. Kaput! Now I would have shuffled off my mortal coil. See you there. Wait, oh. uh, Every second counts. Anyone who thinks I can keep up, you're welcome to try. Nick! Nick! Nick Van Owen!
Fifteen years ago, John Hammond had a dream. Well, half an hour from now, John Hammond's dream, reimagined, will come true. Tonight, we'll christen Jurassic Park San Diego with a mega attraction. The ship, it's here. It's early. <laughs> No, no, get away from that! Where's the infant? It's in a secure facility. Why? Where's the facility? How will we find the adults? Follow the screams. Dr. Grant, I give you the resonating chamber of a Velociraptor. Oh. 
This is brilliant, Billy. Really, it is. Sad to say, gonna have to back up in four weeks. Dr. Grant? Paul Kirby. Kirby Enterprises. Amanda and I just love the outdoors. Heck, we've been on just about every adventure tour they can come up with. I've chartered an airplane to fly us over Isla Sorna, and we'd like you to be our guide. And of course, we'd love to make a contribution to your research here. Break me when we get there. Unidentified aircraft approaching east of Sorna. You are flying in restricted airspace. I think they're looking for someone. What are they doing? They're setting up a perimeter to make the place safe. They're good. Trust me, on this island, there is no such thing as safe. We have to get back on that plane. We you tell your wife to stop making that noise? That is a very, very bad idea. the other guy. Cooper's a professional. He can handle himself. You did some explaining, Mr. Kirby. You let a 12 year old go parasailing alone? No! He was with a friend of mine. Ben Hildebrand. How long have they been missing? Eight weeks. Almost eight weeks. So why me? He said we needed someone who'd been on the island before. I have never been on this island. Sure, you have. That was Isla Nublar. This is Isla Sorna. Site B. Nobody move a muscle. No such thing as Kirby Enterprises, is there? It's Kirby Paint and Tile Plus. The plus stands for bathroom fixtures. Um, we're in the Westgate Shopping Center, Enid, Oklahoma. Billy, uh. we go back to Clay and salvage what we can, and we make for the coast. Dr. Grant, we're not leaving this island without our son. Then you can go and look for him. Huh? You're not really a mercenary, are you? I never said I was. So, what do we do? We search for your son. In the direction that they're going. Excellent, excellent. excellent.
He's alive. I know he's alive. set a trap. They actually set a trap. You know who I am? The parents are here. They're looking for you. You're Alan Grant. What are you doing here? Your parents, uh, invited me along. Be careful with that. T-Rex scares some of the smaller ones away, but it attracts one really big one with a fin. Listen. Compies! There's a boat. Right alongside the bank. Looks in good shape. Listen. What? It's my dad's satellite phone. Mom! Dad! Dad! Mom! Eric! How did you know we were here? The phone! The stupid jingle from the store, I heard it! I don't have it. I loaned it to Nash. He must have had it when he... they'd be worth a fortune, enough to fund the dig site another ten more years. What if they catch us with them? What if they catch us without them? There's a boat at the bottom, just downriver. We'll try and make it to the coast, at least. What is it? <laughs> it's a birdcage.
Call for help. That's a helicopter. Any incidents? You got six kids in the lost and found, 28 down for heat, and some idiot tried to feed ice cream to a triceratops. Your assistant's online too. Zach and Gray are here? Tell her I'll be there in five. My sister's kids. Clean up your workspace, it's chaotic. How big is the island? Oh. Big. But how many pounds? That doesn't make sense. Come on! Whoa. Hey, don't wander off, all right? Mom's not paying me for babysitting. Uh. Uncle Claire! Uh. Huh? Uh. Zara here is going to take great care of you until I'm done working tonight, okay? Okay, so, um, have fun and take very good care of them, okay? Uh. Mr. Mizrani, you're flying. 
I got my license. Okay. Now show me my new dinosaur. It's white. You never told me it was white. The Indominus Rex, our first genetically modified hybrid. Oh, she's intelligent then. Oh, Indominus wasn't bred. She was designed. Bigger. Scarier. She'll be 50 feet long when fully grown. Bigger than the T-Rex. So the paddock is quite safe then? We have the best structural engineers in the world. Yeah, so did Hammond. There's an American Navy man here, Owen Grady. I know who he is. These animals often try to escape. They're smart. Yes, he is smart. He only thinks he's smarter. I want you to bring him in. Let him inspect the paddock. Maybe he sees something we can't. Oh, uh, heck! Sorry! Uh, it's stuck on one of the branches! Are you going to release the Velociraptors now, sir? What do you want, buddy? A field test. I've just seen that they can respond to commands. And we need to take the research and get it on its feet. These are wild animals, Hoskins. Trust me, you don't want them in the field. We finally make progress, and that the first thing he says? Make a weapon? Mr. Grady? Owen. Owen, I need you to come take a look at something. A new species we've ugh, made. We'd like you to evaluate the paddock for vulnerabilities. Indominus Rex? What's this thing made of? The base genome is a T-Rex. The rest is uh, classified. Where is it? It was just here when we were just here. Oh. Huh. Doesn't make any sense. These doors haven't been open in weeks. Were those claw marks always there? You think it? Evacuate the island. She has an implant in her back. I can track it from the control room. Dude, off road. They told us to go back. There, see? You're welcome. Up close and personal with four dinosaurs. And Kylosaurus. 
You shouldn't be here, and there's five dinosaurs. <gasps> That paddock is mostly infrared cameras. The only way it could hide from thermal is if it can change its heat signature. No animal can do that. Yeah? Well, this one can. <sighs> it must have been some kind of a technical malfunction. Technical? Were you not even watching? She marked up that wall as a distraction. She wanted us to think she escaped. I'm going to close everything north of the resort. Let asset containment capture it quietly. The very existence of this park is predicated on our ability to handle incidents like this. I would have a word with your people in the lab. That thing out there, that is no dinosaur. Zara, I need you to bring the boys back to the hotel right away. Wait, no, no. I, I can't. Slow down. They what? I need you. My nephews, they're out in the valley. Aunt Claire will probably send people out looking for us. We can wait here. It'll find us. No, it won't. Stop it. Come on. Tracking implant. She clawed it out. They made it out. You hear that? How did they get one of these running? ACU. Tell them to send everything they've got. Lowry! We found her. South of the Gyrosphere Valley. Oh. Wait, are you following the dinosaur? Yes. Get ACU out here. Look at that. She's headed right for the park. 
Hello? Anybody home? It's in general. Hoskins. You know why I'm here? I've been working for two years on an application for these Raptors. Let me be as clear as I can. No Velociraptors are going to be set loose on this island. Okay, boss. What's your next move? We don't need anyone else. back to you. Bad idea. This guy Hoskins is in charge. He's got some insane plan to use raptors. We're putting a new team on the ground. They've never been out of containment. It's crazy. This isn't your territory yet. Don't forget, you work. <laughs> if we do it, we do it my way. Easy. Easy. They found something. Why they wouldn't tell us what it's made of. Why? That thing's part raptor. Watch your six. The raptors have a new alpha. Tomorrow you will be home, and your mother will never let me see you again. Go! Go! Did you just see that? Can't wait to tell Mom! No! I cannot tell your mother about that ever! We have to get indoors! Follow me!
Everything must be accounted for. I want all backup generators online. Where have you been? Change of plans. Mission took a jog to the left. I'm taking everything off-site. They evacuated the lab. <laughs> Where's Henry? Dr. Wu works for us. That's not a real dinosaur. No, it ain't, kid. Imagine that one. A fraction of its size, intelligent, deadly, able to hide from military technology. Ah. Easy, boy. We're on, we're on, we're on the same side, right? how it is, huh? Easy. E easy. Easy. Whoa. 74, 58 times 2, 190. We need more. What? Teeth. We need more teeth. I need you to open Paddock 9. 9? Are you kidding? He left provisions? Our deal is still intact? Don't worry. You'll be well taken care of.